everyone. In this video, I'll walk you through an overview of the Opportunities applet in Command. First, um, go to the top left corner. You can see this red color button that says KW. Click on that, you'll pull out a menu and look for Opportunities. In the, here, you will see three big categories. Um, you'll see the green color listings the buyers in red, orange, and leases. So these are your rental and leases in purple. So over here, how we look at it is that if you have any listing leads, um, you would want to put in here. So there are five main categories here, like five main. So think of it as a five main buckets. In each and every buckets, there will be um, small stages inside. So... If you look at it outside, or you'll see that there is the cultivate buckets, there's the appointment buckets, the active buckets, the under contract buckets, and the closed buckets. So this is actually the stages of which our in our sales journey as we move the leads from one to another. So when we have a lead, you'll go into cultivate. So in here, if I click into it, you will see um a leads under watch, which will be your cold leads where you have not really speak to the leads or you don't really know the property needs of the leads, it will be under watch. And then nurture will be a warm leads that you know that this property this lead is looking to buy a property, but you they might not be um buying in the next three to six months. So that will be warm. You'll want to nurture them. And then you have hot leads. Hot leads are leads who are ready to buy. They are looking. They would like to purchase in the next three to six months. So the idea is to uh, move the deals from one stage to the next one and to the next one. So if we have a lead here, then the next one, we actually want to move them to appointment stage. I'm going to show you um, how it looked like with a leads, um, with the deal cards inside. So take for example, this is, um, I'm going to take the buyers for example, and that you can see that there is two deals here, two leads here that I'm actually looking to, to bring them from cultivate to appointment. Um, and then like on an active, then under contract and close, of course. So the goal is to really bring the deals from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Um, because when we get more and more deals to under contract and close, that means we are a lot closer to hitting our potential income here. Can you see this? Yep. So um, you can actually get a forecast on how much you might eventually get um, as, as, as we close our deals. So that give you a, a great idea of where are we in terms of hitting our goals. So I'm just going to dive deeper here. So in this buyer's pipeline, I'm going to go into the cultivate one. So you can see that, for example, in here, I have a deal here. This leads Joshua Yip and then he's under call leads. And so as I talk to Joshua, I realize that, oh, um, he actually have, um, he's actually looking to purchase a property. And then I'll continue to follow up and then realize that actually they are ready. Um, they just got married. They're ready. They want to um, buy in the next three months. So I'm going to go put, put them under hot. And that um, as I follow up further, then, I, then I'm able to actually, sorry, I'm actually able to actually make an appointment. So I'm going to just move Joshua to appointment stage right now. And that I have a scheduled um appointment with Joshua and the wife to um go for a viewing for this property. So um and then the next one would be um if I've kept the appointment I'll I'll bring it here or I can just bring it straight to the active stage whereby um they will be just going for the truth back and forth of searching and and showing, searching and showing um all the way until uh we actually manage to go in they find something that they like and we go into negotiations and then um if all is good this is so good they they manage to find something they're happy with we're going to move them un to under contract so in under contract there is different stages called escrow inspections and appraisal and also financing and clear to close 
So you can see I can uh, move the stages like this. So um, in here, or actually at every every buckets, you are able to edit the stage name according to your unique sales process. So what do I mean by that is that, um, for example, escrow actually means um, earnest deposit. So you can see Joshua is here. I'm going to move it up so that it's clear. Um, okay, never mind. So escrow is here. Um, I would like to rename this stage. So I at the top here, you can see this pencil button with rename stages and checklist. Click on this. And you can see the first one is escrow. I'm going to just click on this edit button, this pencil button, and change it to and this earnest deposit collect. So you can see I've managed to change the stage name. Um, so in this under contract stage, there is um inspection, appraisal, and that I'm also able to um, uh, for example, uh add in a checklist. So you can see there's a checklist here. It says zero over zero. So just to say put an example here, say on financing, I would like to put a a checklist here to say um submit loan documents. So I can put a description here as well. Um and just create the checklist so you can see that it's here. Or maybe I want to actually um name it. So this is item number one, submit loan document. Um number two, for example, check with Banker on loan status. So I just have to save this. And you can see that there is these two items here. So if I go back to the stages, let's say I'm bringing this into the appraisal, the financing stage here. Um, you can see that for this particular deal, there is um, two checklists here. So for every leads, every deals that um, is that fall under this financing bucket, it will have this checklist. So um, if I'm done, I can just click it off. I can just check it off and then um, it will be clear. So it's really a great reminder that um for 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 us to remember like um a certain process um so that so that we uh we don't miss out on things. So this is how um we can drag our deals and how we update our deals. And of course, at the end of the day, we would like to put this to clear to close and also close. Yep. So this is an example of uh this is an overview of the opportunities applets. Do give it a try. Thank you.